Hi everybody, it's uh, Ian and welcome back to Astro Time Traveller. Unfortunately, we're not getting very good skies here in the UK. It's um, a very unusual summer. We had a very cold April, a very wet May, a pretty wet June, and now even into July, uh, when traditionally the first week of Wimbledon, we expect to see uh, some sun. There's pretty, pretty little of it. Um, so I haven't been able to do much imaging uh, at the moment. So what I have done is I've, I've looked at maybe other projects and hopefully those of you who subscribe, and I, I thank all my subscribers, I think I have 175 now. You see, I try and put out videos uh, about weekly on just um, images that I've taken and put some nice cool music to them just to show off some of those images. But I've got a project uh, in this video where I'm really looking at to how far can we actually see uh, with our naked eye and even with a small telescope. And it is quite amazing, I think, what, what we can see um, from things like uh, the ISS that, that goes overhead here quite often, um, a man-made object, but we can see it thousands of miles away um, as the sun reflects off it, which is it's fascinating. I mean, think how far a man-made object is you can see. You normally think of what you can see just over the horizon, but to see something thousands of miles away is incredible. And then if we look up the sky and we see things like the, the moon, the sun and the planets in our solar system, those are all millions of miles away and in light years, you know, minutes, sometimes hours away from where we are. And then you start to go further into our own galaxy, the Milky Way, and you can see all the stars in the sky are, are in the Milky Way and the nebulas, and we can see some of those as well. And it's quite incredible how far back in time we're seeing even in our local own galaxy. And then you can look at galaxies even further away, like the Andromeda Galaxy or the Triangulum Galaxy, maybe even the Pinwheel or the Whirlpool Galaxy. On a very clear night, if you've got really good eyesight, which uh, I don't have, but on a very clear night, I believe you can even see those with the naked eye. And those are things that are 20 some odd million light years away from us. So we're looking back in time, hugely back in time when we're looking at these things. And I find that fascinating, which is why I title my, my channel Astro Time Traveller. Um, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to show a couple of images of even further deep space galaxies. And there's one in particular, the, uh, the NGC 4872 area, that has thousands of galaxies all within a very small area. And if you zoom in really close, uh, and I just use my Celestron uh, 6SE, I think with a focal reducer, so it's something like a, a thousand millimeters of focal length, so it's not that, that much. Um, but even with that, you can see galaxies that are hundreds of millions of light years away, which means we're seeing those galaxies not, not since the dinosaurs disappear, we're seeing them before the dinosaurs ever came into being. We're seeing things back hundreds of millions of light years. And I think in one of my images, I've got something that's two billion light years away. And that's just mind blowing, a tiny little dot of light that has taken two billion years to reach us and, and I capture in my little Celestron 6SE. So I'm going to put some music to these. Um, I'm going to give you a few facts about how far away they are and maybe some fun facts about some of the objects. And hopefully you enjoy. If you do, then, then give me a like. Um, and if you really enjoy it and you've seen some of my other videos, perhaps you'd subscribe uh, and that would really be useful as well. So I hope you enjoy. Sit back and uh, listen to some hopefully related music that goes well with these different types of images and just be inspired to, by this hobby and by what we can see in the night sky.
Thank you.